the DeVoe Green Peter, a low profile caddis pattern. In the usual way, set the thread on at the eye and take it in close touching turns down to the bend, level with the barb of the hook. Now take a long CDC feather, take a turn over the stem near the base and slide the fibres through until you're tying it in by the tip, trapping as many fibres as possible. Bind the remaining tips as you take the thread forward to the end of the body. Keep the turns even as you do to ensure a good base for the body. Now take the hackle pliers and attach to the butt of the feather and start to wind. As you make the first wind, so make the first turn of the feather as well. So you're putting a twist into it each time. A twist as you go round. This will help to build up the body and give a slightly segmented effect. Slipped out of the hackle pliers there. Don't panic. Just reattach. Take it back a turn or a turn and a half and reset it and make sure that it's got the twists in it and continue to wind. As you go up, you can see a few fibres now beginning to stray. Don't worry about those. We'll trim those off in a moment. Now with the left hand drop turn, take three turns over just holding the feather in the hackle pliers as you do. Now you can snip off the waist butt of the feather. Now just bind the remains of the butt down firmly and now we'll just trim off those flyaway fibres there just to even up the body, make it nice and smooth. Don't have too many bits sticking out. A little bit of life doesn't hurt, but we don't want it to be too clumsy. A little bit of barbering, there we go. Now take a pair of CDC feathers, the same colour, and put them concave side to concave side. Now add a third feather on one side, again concave side down, turn them over, take another fourth feather and again concave side down, lay on top of the bunch and stroke them all together. You now have a bunch of four CDC feathers all curving inwards. Now offer that to the hook and catch them in Watch the butts as they kick up here. That tells you you've got them down firmly. And continue to bind them down forwards towards the eye. And give them a stroke. Keep them all well aligned. Now we'll go in with the point of the scissors and just snip those waist butts off. And tidy up the butts and prepare a good base for the wings to be tied on. Take two duck flank feathers and trim off the, or pluck off, the waist fibres near the roots and give it a stroke, keep the fibres together, there's one. Now do the other one the same. That's the basic preparation done. And again just stroke and now take them and put one on top of the other, spooned if you like, so that they're both curving the same way. Adjust them for length, make sure the tips align. And now a little bit of final trimming just to remove the last few fibres to get them to the right size. If you do it as a pair, you've got a nice tidy wing to tie on. And again the other side.
stroke the fibres yet again and now we'll offer them up to the hook just slightly longer than the wing which is a little longer than the body as you can see there it's deliberate take a couple of tight turns over the stems and include some of the lower fibres so that it puts a curve in the wing make sure that it's sitting right on top of the fly and now bind the stems down forward snip off the waist and tidy up to the eye and then back onto the wing again just making sure that the fibres are just caught in there to put that curve in make sure the wing is set if you look underneath now you can see the dark extended body created by the CDC now we'll take some spiky dubbing this is from the chin of a hair's mask actually but any spiky dubbing will do and just tease it out so you have a mix of softer fibre and the spikes Now we're going to split the thread, just lay it over your finger and run the needle along it two or three times underneath the thread. You'll see it open there against my finger. Separate it with the tip of the needle, split it into two and slip your finger through, keeping it open so that you can slot in the dubbing like so. And just adjust it and check it. There's a little bit of soft fibre there which I've removed. It was a little bit cloggy that particular piece. Now we'll just spin the bobbin anti-clockwise and you'll see as I shorten the thread now you'll see the dubbing twist up even tighter as the thread tightens up. There we go. Now we'll just form the thorax. I'm tempted to say a neat thorax. You can't get neat with a dubbing like this, but a nice scruffy thorax. There we go. And pull everything out of the way so that you can complete the head with a few turns. And then the whip finish. Four turn whip finish as usual. Trap the loop onto the needle. And slide through. There we go. That's the tying finished. We'll just snip that off, get the fingers out of the way. Sorry about that. And again, a look underneath to get the idea of the fly style there. The CDC, of course, helps to keep it up on the surface film. Get rid of any little hairy bits around the eye. And then a spot of uh, head cement or varnish. A little bit more. There we go. Just to finalise it. Give it another coat in 10 minutes time when it's dry. And there's your finished fly. Ready for the next caddy hatch.